name is Aksana Mirzoyan. I have lived in Armenia for the last 10 months and I plan on staying indefinitely. My name is Lara Aharonyan. I've lived here for the past nine, nine years and I'm planning to stay for long. I don't know yet, but for long. Hi, my name is Alex Mirzayans. I'm 28 years old. I moved to Armenia April 2006. My name is Zach Valadian. Uh, I'm 33 years old. I moved here in late 2008. And I plan to stay here for the rest of my life. My grandparents' dream, my grandmother's dream, who I grew up with, all the stories and nice things about Armenia. And for me, uh, it was the, the missing thing in my life, uh, I thought at that time. <laughs> so this is what made me move. And I don't know, I wanted something different than what uh, the Canadian politically correct society would offer me. I'm a very adventurous person, so Armenia was a good challenge for me. You know, uh, living as an Armenian abroad, uh, having daily to switch on and switch off, you know, you, you being Armenian and stuff like that, I decided to move home. I mean, I mean yeah, eventually it's like home. Armenia is offering things today that um, you couldn't find 5-10 years ago. Definitely you couldn't find 20, year, 20 or 30 years ago pre-independence. So as we move forward, those opportunities will simply increase. And uh, those who are um, ready, those who are willing to do the work, to search, to be persistent, a lot of them will be surprised at, at finding things that initially they thought were impossible in Armenia. Well, the one thing I can say for sure is that opportunities are opening up every day in Armenia more and more. I mean, if you want to start from auto mechanics up to uh, raw materials, uh, restaurants, anything that's new though, it'll work in Armenia. The exciting thing about Armenia right now is that it's a very young country. I mean, we're very old in terms of our history, but we've only really been as a republic around for 20 years now. And I think that there is there's a lot of opportunities. There's It's an incredible place, but so much still needs to be done to bring it up to the, bring it to the place where I think the locals here would like to see it and the diasporans would like to see it as and when you come here you have an incredible amount of chances to do something fresh and make an actual tangible impact on the people's lives. I won't be exaggerating if, if I say that we didn't really have any challenges. The challenges that we have had and still have are ones that we expected before even arriving here at the airport. That's being away from our own uh, personal families, you know, our parents, our you know, cousins, our brothers and sisters. We're still living in, in, in Los Angeles. And that's a fact that hasn't changed and will not change. And that's something that we knew from the onset. But as a matter of fact, we probably have less challenges than, than we thought that we may have. I have a lot of local friends that I uh, spend time with or I work with, but apart from that I have my support group who are mainly friends who repatriated like me, young couples or single people uh, from different places, from the States, from Canada, from Europe and we hang out together a lot, at least once a week we do, we have our uh, brunch, Sunday brunch together where we it's like a therapy, you know, like a group therapy where you come together and you start talking, you know, this is what happened to me in Armenia and this is what I, what, what this kind of challenges I, I have and I need this and uh, and I'm, I'm applying for a visa and this is what happened and we share things and we help out each other and once this branch is finished as we go home and we say, oh, I'm not alone, you know, I have this support group and it helped me a lot and it's important for repads to have that. For any young Armenian that wants to do business, it's the perfect place to be. Like, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else because you're around the same people that think the same way and they want to do the same things. So it's like we all work together to achieve that goal. Being in Yerevan especially is being able to walk everywhere. Um, I feel safe here. I feel compelled to walk. I don't want to stay home all the time. 
I want to be out, I want to meet people, I want to do things. Whereas in Los Angeles, which is more of a big urban sp sprawl, uh, it's easier to kind of get comfortable in your small little bubble. Whereas here you can really go from being in a one neighborhood that's one way to another that's a completely different experience in just a couple of steps. You can't find Armenia anywhere else. Like this is this is it. This is Hayastan. This is the place uh, where our parents didn't have the opportunity to come to. This is uh, our new found independent country. So I plan on uh, taking complete advantage of that opportunity and um, making the best of it here. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't want my children to be stuck behind an LCD TV or an LED TV. I want them to climb trees. I want them to fall. And the education here is not bad at all. Given there's quite a few good schools nowadays out in Armenia, yeah. You're not sacrificing your children's future by moving here. They will learn as much, if not more. You have, you know, bright kids that are graduating secondary schools here, attending top world universities. Because they're driven, they're motivated, um, you know, they're, they're passionate about their education, they're passionate about their future. Come out here with a plan. Do some research. Look what's missing. Every three months there's a new business that's opening up. Come with the most open mind possible. The thing is, I was told that, and it's still hard to get it until you come here. But don't come with expectations. Don't come with the plan of coming to, you know, teach people how to do things or teach society anything. You have to learn just as much as people have to learn from you. Definitely happy. Uh, moving to Armenia was the best decision I've ever made in my life. I'm very, very happy. I haven't been this happy in a very long time. Yes, I'm very happy. Very happy. I'm, I'm, I, I feel that Armenia gave me a lot. Hell yeah. Extremely happy. <laughs>